Hi everyone, and thank you for joining us for another episode of Ion Hako. My name is Nicole. Hi everyone, my name is Kenta. And today we will be talking about Apex. Apex 2020. <laughs> Kenta, it's Friday, but <laughs> you're a little we'll delayed. Get we'll get through it. <laughs> Apex 2020. Mm -hmm. For those of you that do not know what Apex is, it's a convention that's held in San Diego. Right. Um, it is the largest electronics manufacturing convention in North America. Is it really? Yes, it is. Oh, wow. uh, roughly around 9,000 attendees from 45 different countries come out to see what exhibitors have to offer. And we will be one that, of the exhibitors there. This a lot of people. Year. Huh? Yep, a lot of people. So when is it this year? February 4th through 6th. This coming year, uh, no, this year, this not this <laughs> <laughs> Next month. Next month. Next month, February 4th through 6th. That's a what, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, right? Yes, yeah. right after Super Bowl. That's that right. I remember. Yeah. Are you ready? Uh, yeah. Oh, your team's not playing, so it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. <laughs> um, we will have our annual mixer mm -hmm. to kick off the convention, February 4th at the Hard Rock Hotel on right the rooftop. Right, right across, across the street. Right across the street. Very easy to get to. What so time is the mixer from? Six to nine. Oh, six. So what we're going to do today is we are going to go over what products we will be showing in our booth. Right. Do you remember our booth number, Kenta? 1851. Yes, 1851. Very excited for our booth layout. We have a nice big LED screen that's going to show a video so you can't miss us. You should see a uh, slide up right now. Mm -hmm. That kind of gives you an idea of what we'll look like and where our products will be. Nice. So let's touch on the different products that we will have at Apex, and we'll go by categories. Okay, let's start with the soldering category. Okay. Over on the soldering section, we're going to have a couple of different products uh, showcasing there. One of them is the FX100, mm -hmm. Which we induction have. heating soldering station that we have here. And with the FX100, we'll be showing the FX1002 micro iron which is great for when you want to solder under microscopes. Great performance, nice, slim handpiece with the nice, small uh, tips as well. Mm -hmm. The tips are called T35 series tips. We carry uh, two different temperature series in the T35s, the 350C and the 400C. And in both temperature series, uh, there's five different um, tip shapes available, ranging from like a conical, okay. a bevel, a chisel or a knife type. And the station has the standard features. Oh yeah, absolutely. Auto shut off, absolutely. password sleep, reset, sleep features, sleep auto mode. Shut off. All those are uh, standard on the FX100. And it also has a boost mode as well. Yes, the boost mode. I almost forgot about that. So the other station that we'll have on the soldering section is called the FN1010. Which it, you should be seeing a slide up now to get an idea of what it looks like. Mm -hmm. It is our concept soldering station. And when you say concept, mm -hmm. just explain to our viewers why we're saying it's a concept station. Uh, we call it concept right now because it's not yet available here in the U.S., but we want to get um, a feel for the market. That's why we're showing it here at Apex. Now, the FN1010 has improved performance. It's a 100-watt soldering station with improved performance. And what it's good for is it's an IoT-capable soldering station that can track your data. So it's great for traceability, data logging capabilities. And once you've attached the station to a PC, you'll be able to record um, different useful information such as tip temperature, uh, tip shape, for example, tip serial numbers, the amount of loads, and like the amount of time that you've been using a particular um, soldering iron tip. And the accessory that you can use the concept station with. Did you oh, right. mention the the FG one hundred B. It's our it's our tip thermometer that we released in two thousand nineteen. Um, when used together with the FN ten ten soldering station, um, you can take tip measurements. But you can the station can automatically calibrate your tips when used together with the FG one hundred B. Okay, so those are two stations that we'll have over at the soldering section. Over on the desoldering section, which we don't have a slide for, but just to give you an idea of what will be on the table. Just to give you an idea, we'll have our FR410 140 watt desoldering tool, mm -hmm. and we'll also have our FR400 300 watt desoldering tool. 
So that's our desoldering. Desoldering. And then we also have. We also have our rework. Our rework. Rework section. And over in the rework section, we'll have a new rework fixture. Yes. We're going to show you a slide because we don't have the fixture on the table. Mm -hmm. it's, it's called the HJ4000. Yep. Now the HJ4000, it's a rework fixture. So when used together with our uh, hot air tools, such as the FR811 or the A10B, and also our preheater, like the FR-872, um, it creates or provides a low-cost manual reworking system. It's lightweight. Lightweight. Right. Comes, it's a split, it uses a split vision yes, prism important. system, comes equipped with its own camera, and, and it's a gantry style um, fixture. What type of component? Oh, good I question. I think that's a good, good thing question. we should let them know. So when um, you'll be able to accurately place components as large as 45 millimeters square, all the way down to one millimeter uh, square in size. Okay. And the actual movement, because it's a gantry system, it moves in the X, Y, Z, and also a theta rotation axis. The X is 335 millimeters, the Y is 447 millimeters, the Z is 247 millimeters, and the theta rotation is for 30 degrees. Also, right next to the uh, HJ4000, we'll have our FT802 thermal oh, yeah. wire stripper. That we have right here. We're it's a new and improved slide. thermal wire stripper with uh, improved performance and improved blades for better blade alignment. The, wire stripper, the new wire stripper blades are called G4 blades. We have three different blades available. They're called G4-1601, which is a straight type, and there's this G4-1602 and the G4-1603. Those two are the notched versions of the blades, and they cover a range of 26 gauge all the way down to uh, 38 gauge. Size wire. And the station has the handpiece holder. Has a built-in handpiece holder. To maximize your workbench space. Yep. And also has the a, shields. Uh, the shields. For burn protection. And you'll be able to remove and replace your blades because it has a, a blade removal tool built into the holder. Nice, easy way to carry your station. And it has built-in blade uh, blade holder. Blade holder. Did you say that? <laughs> yes. <laughs> It's that. Friday, kids. I thought, you said that. I thought you said that. So that's over next to the HJ4000. Yes. Um, and you're talking about the torque drivers? I was talking about the torque drivers. We have a happy. torque driver section. Yes. That will be showcasing our electric torque drivers. We have brush, brushless, and direct plug-in drivers. Mm -hmm. And as you can see, all of our torque drivers are, come with the red ESD safe housing. So there's no need to pay additional costs for the ESD safe housing. And what's really unique about our torque drivers is that you can actually mount the power supply and the drivers onto the spring balancers. That way it frees up valuable uh, workbench space. So like a price is right model. <laughs> <laughs> and our torque drivers, they cover a range of torque range of uh, 0.26 to 21.7 inch pounds. And the power supplies also enable you to control the R uh, RPM and some Power supplies also have the option of slow start um, options on there as well. Okay, so that's our C CHP section. That's our CHP section. We'll also have the robot. Oh, right. Yes, uh, the AT. Over in the front. Is it the yes, front? it's going to be in the front. Front of the, our booth, we'll have our robotic soldering section. We'll have our Hako's very own HU200. Hako's uh, four axes bench top robotic soldering uh, system. It comes with its own uh, PC tablet. So you don't have to purchase an uh, additional um, computer. It's touch screen. Touch screen. Yes. And the tablet has, uh, yeah, has pre-installed software um, that you can control the actual soldering conditions as well as like the feeder, the dwell time. Um, what else can you control? Uh, it has <laughs> joysticks that allow yes, for easy joystick. positioning of the of the system. The barcode is optional. For the actual soldering iron, there's options available for a 140 watt soldering iron option and also 300. a 300 watt soldering mm -hmm. option available. So that's our robot. That's our robot. And then we'll also have the DPF 200. Oh, right. The DPF 200, uh, what Nicole's talking about is our manual uh, router table. Mm -hmm. And we'll have a show special. Show special? Yes. That sounds exciting. Yes, it's very exciting. Wow. Can you tell me what the show very special is? It's very aggressive. You need to come to the booth, 1851, so you can get the information. Is the slide up? Yeah. The slide is up. On what are 
DPF. Oh, DPF? Yeah. It's a manual routing table. It provides a low-cost alternative, mm -hmm. um, so you don't have to pay a, a bun uh, expensive capital equipment tool. No programming required. Um, it could cut straight slots, angular slots. Uh, we do custom guides also. And what's special about the DPF is that it comes equipped with its own vacuum system. So all that PCB dust gets collected right at the source of the cut. Um, so there's no um, contamination. It's are, a safety feature. Are there um, specifications for the thickness of the PCB boards right, with um, the DPF 200? So standard, the max, uh, what do you call it? The thickness, <laughs> thickness of the boards yes. is 2.5 millimeters. But um, you can always send us in your boards and we can always make custom boards for our customers. Okay, that's um, good to know. As far as slot width, it's 1.5 millimeters to 2.5 millimeters for the slot width. Uh, but that too, again, um, send us your boards and we can try to figure out a solution. Yeah, if you're at Apex, stop by and see us, ask us questions, ask us about the show special. Again, it's very aggressive. If you're looking for this system, you don't want to miss out. Exactly. Right. And I just want to say all of our, uh, the products that I mentioned here today, Question. like the soldering stations and the, uh, the torque drivers, mm -hmm. you can actually stop by our booth and use them. So it's not just like a show, you can actually solder stuff on it. It's, we're going to have an interactive booth where you're able to use this, not only just to get the feel for it, but you'll be able to take away a lovely giveaway. So last year we had drones. drones. Yep. If you were there, you're familiar. This year we're going to have a DIY game yep. that you'll be able to assemble using our products in our booth, and then you can take it with you. So it's a little giveaway. While supplies last. While supplies, yes. They go quick, so make sure you stop by booth 1851. Uh, we're going to stop because we do have a question, Joel. Does the solder robot have a nitrogen generator? Does the solder robot have a nitrogen generator? So the HU200, the soldering robot itself doesn't have a nitrogen generator, but we have op options available that you can hook up a nitrogen generator, that you can use a nitrogen system with the HU200. Nice. All right, what else? Did we cover everything that we're gonna? The mixer. Yes. The mixer. That's yes. Kenta reminding me to remind you that we have our annual mixer. February 4th at the Hard Rock Hotel yep. on the rooftop from, do you remember the time? 6 to 9. From 6 to 9. At the Hard Rock Hotel. I said that, Kenta. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for watching. Thank we you. hope you. to see you all at Apex 2020 in San Diego from February 4th through 6th and at our mixer. So until next time, Kenta has nothing else to say. Nope. No? That's it. <laughs> I'm ready. Until next time, remember, make sure you remember, keep, keep your, your eye on Hako.